y'all really need to stop finding these fake prophecies and trying to make them realities and even making claims that are easily verified to be false. I mean, you're telling me I have not the slightest idea of what I speak of, but I believe that you don't have any concept of what you're speaking about. You say people are very intelligent until they mention the Bible, then they lose their ability to reason. I think people who accept the Bible have lost their complete ability to reason, and you will demonstrate it in the next sentence. You said the Bible says Euphrates River will dry up, and indeed it has. My dear, you can go and find any recent pictures of the Euphrates. Just, 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 just go and Google and the Euphrates River. Find tourists who have, you will find tourists who have been there like in the last week, the last few days, who have taken pictures of the Euphrates River. Y you can find that there are still boats on the Euphrates River that are sailing. In order for those boats to do that, they got to have what? Got to have water, right? The Euphrates River has not dried up. The prophecy to which you're speaking of is in Revelation 16, where it says the river will dry up and that the Antichrist and two of his minions are going to use it as a road. It has to be dry for that to happen. So first, the Antichrist has to come before that happens. The Antichrist hasn't come. The other part is that before the Euphrates dries up, previous chapter, I think it's chapter 14. I could be wrong about that one. But the Euphrates River, three angels will appear at the Euphrates River and then kill one third of the population. We have had population growth every year on the planet. Every year there's been population growth. So if those angels are supposed to come and kill a third of the population, but yet a third of the population has not died, has not been killed through disease or whatever reason or rationale that you want to use and attribute it to these three angels. Then you cannot claim the Euphrates River has dried up and that the Antichrist is walking along it because that has to happen first. You see, you're supposed to say that your God is a God of order. But then that will be out of order if he dries up the Euphrates River before doing the other 20 or 14, whatever the number is, different prophecies that are supposed to happen first. We're supposed to be taking the mark of the beast first. We, we're, we're supposed to be worshiping the mark of the, the beast. The beast must, must come. The, the third of the population must die. The rivers are turned, the rivers and all the waters are turned to blood. All these things have to happen first before it. So you say that people lose their ability to reason when they mention the Bible, but yet you lose your reason, your reason of your reasonable ability to think when you say things like it has already dried up. Free yourself.